This is the Yellowstone supervolcano whose risk of an eruption is relatively low but will only occur in 2023. The detected seismic activity makes everyone alert because it could be an indication of a possible eruption. This volcano is located in Yellowstone National Park which stretches across the states of Wyoming, Montana and Idaho. Yellowstone hosts a supervolcano because it is capable of causing devastating natural disasters. There have been several changes in the level of the lake. There are some people who are worried that in some areas the lake level is rising while in other areas it is falling which indicates that there are forces pushing the local basin upwards. Big Yellowstone Serra is a supervolcano that is about 72 x 55 kilometers wide. This is the largest volcano in North America. We now know that the Yellowstone supervolcano was formed due to multiple volcanic eruptions. When a supervolcano erupts, it can release 1,000 cubic kilometers of molten rock ash and hot gases into the air. Yellowstone volcano is responsible for at least three of its largest eruptions. This volcanic eruption can reach level 8 destruction, which means it can destroy entire buildings. The structure was able to withstand the potential destruction of a supervolcano whose last eruption occurred about 600,000 years ago. Recent research shows that two previous eruptions occurred 1.3 and 2.1 million years ago. Scientists stated that it was seismic in nature. This volcanic activity occurs approximately every half a million years, so on average during the last explosion at least 1,000 cubic kilometers of material was ejected, an amount astonishing enough to bury the country of Mexico under one and a half meters. A volcanic eruption of this magnitude would not only bring destruction to this region, but to the entire world affecting food growth and in addition to causing climate change unimaginable levels of destruction the U.S. Federal Emergency Management Agency simulated the average costs that would be incurred by the American nation to repair the damage caused by the eruption of the Yellowstone volcano. What if the Yellowstone caldera erupted tomorrow if the burning volcano erupted with the same intensity as before it would emit ash at a height sufficient to remain in the sphere's atmosphere for years as a consequence there would be a temperature impact which would cause an average decrease of 10 degrees across the planet due to eruptions. High density. From ashes. In the atmosphere blocked sunlight due to lead sulfur mostly caused by toxic volcanic ash the North American continent would become uninhabitable if an eruption occurred. Certain signs occur around volcanoes. Magma will begin to rise towards the surface of the surrounding area. The magma will also begin to rise and geysers and lakes will gradually boil the magma and fill the surface until it becomes rock. The surface can change shape when the pressure reaches that point again. Volcanic ash explosions will be released into the atmosphere at an altitude of 25 kilometers for days. The ash is considered toxic and can cause various health problems such as respiratory problems, eye symptoms, and skin irritations such as dermatitis. Volcanic ash is also another big threat because over time it can turn into a type of cement, bearing collapsed buildings around it, the temperature will increase every minute, the mixture of volcanic ash with lava and terrible gases will increase the temperature beyond 1000 degrees cause this ash will spread at a speed of about 480 km per hour. The speed exceeds the speed of a plane taking off.
Yellowstone volcano has risen another 50 centimeters but scientists claim that although it is considered an active volcano, there is no reason to worry about the possibility of a volcanic eruption as the volcano rises another few centimeters, but this does not necessarily indicate an imminent danger occurs because this behavior only occurs for a certain period of time and eventually returns to normal. This is considered a natural behavior so scientists currently have only a small chance of an eruption occurring at Yellowstone.